Installing the Falcon sensor for Mac starts at the same place that it does for Windows or Linux, in the Falcon UI. In the Host app, open the Sensors Download page. And in this instance, we want to download the latest Mac OS sensor. We'll also need to copy your specific customer ID, as it'll be used during the install process. There are a couple ways to install the sensor. I'll start by just double-clicking the downloaded installer package. The installer will guide the user through a few steps and is completed in less than a minute. After it's complete, we will want to associate this system with our own customer environment. To do this, open a terminal and using the license command, input the customer ID copied earlier from the Falcon UI. I'd also like to password protect the install. To do that, use the password command and when prompted, enter and confirm the password. At this point, the sensor has been installed, the customer ID assigned, and removing the sensor can only be done if the user knows the password. Another option for installing the Falcon sensor is to bypass the GUI and just use the command line. From the directory where the installer has been downloaded, I'll install the Falcon sensor with my target as the root directory. At the same time, I'll pass the second command of assigning the customer ID and setting a password. These two commands can also be used to install the sensor via an SCCM like Jamf to larger groups or organizations. To validate that the sensor has been installed, we navigate back to the host app and can see that this host has recently been installed. Clicking on the specific host, we can also get additional details such as IP address, agent ID, and even the assigned policies. In this case, they're still the default policies. To test the connection between the newly installed host and the Falcon user interface, we can run a test detection. In the terminal window, type bin slash echo, then CrowdStrike underscore sample underscore detection, and hit enter. This will generate a test detection in the user interface similar to an ICAR file. In the Falcon user interface, we have a new detection. As we investigate this alert, we can see that this is, in fact, our sample detection. We now know that everything has been installed and the host is correctly communicating with the cloud. CrowdStrike's single agent architecture, built in a cloud platform, makes managing and adding new systems simple and easy. For more information, check us out at CrowdStrike.com.